Uh, what brings you in my kitchen today, Norman Price? Nothing. I mean, I wanted to show you something. Something really cool. <laughs> you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Norman Price. I know exactly what you're up to. You do? Yes. I know how much you love carrots. What? <laughs> Stay away from that cooker. Out of my kitchen. Go on, out. Uh, out. I, no, I, I just... But, it, oh, uh, a chip up, a keep up, I love stew. A chip up, peanut butter, yes I do. A peanut up, carrot up, chicken too. I gotta keep my teeth in some How's the dinner coming along today? Nothing burnt, I trust? <laughs> I've just put the stew on to simmer. It should be ready in about an hour. Very good. Fire prevention is hungry work, you know. <gasps> I say! <gasps> Station Officer Steele! Norman Price! Not stop right there, young man! Hmm. Not a bad little plane. Norman! Hello, Sam. How are you getting on with your paper aeroplanes? Terrible. Nobody else in Ponty Pandy even likes paper planes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I think I panicked. the fire you saw, Dillis? There! Over there! I saw the bright orange flames glowing through the trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ma'am, that's the sunset. Norman Price, if you hadn't been telling your mother so many scary stories, this never would have happened. If you're going to carry on like this, we might as well go home right now. Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, ma'am. I, I promise not to tell any more stories. Well, we better call back and tell the fire brigade it was a false alarm. <laughs> what? A false alarm? Uh, stand down, men and woman. False alarm, men and woman. Repeat, stand down, men. It's a false alarm, Elvis. We'd better go back. 
Where's the fire? I'd better phone Sam and let him know. Hello? Hello, Sam. I've located the fire. You'd better get up here. Uh, we're on our way. You tell Station Officer Steele what's happened. Norman Price, what did I tell you about making up all these scary stories? No, I, I'm not making it up. It's true. Come and look. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. We should never have left the campfire unattended. Falling about, you need to get back to the wild where you belong. Shoo! <laughs> you must have been feeding it too well, Tom. Shoo! <laughs> Weeping wallabies, not again! <laughs> that bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> help! 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 It's no use, Mandy. Nobody can hear you way out here. What about Charlie? He's too far away, Mandy. There's no way he can hear you. And who's that with him? Oh, no!
hero. Huh. I'm going back to call Fireman Sam. Somebody heard on the beach. There's somebody hurt on the beach, Sam. Sounds like a Coast Guard job. You better get down to the lifeboat with Penny. Lobster pot. I, I can't get up. Oh dear. I'll dive down and take a look. You must have been going pretty fast when you hit that rock, Charlie. I know. I was trying to be a hero. Sarah, as usual. I am not. Oh. oh, it's no good, Norman. We've lost him. Lost who? Santa. See, I told you I saw him. Never mind, Norman. We've already put up more lights than anybody in Pontypandy ever before. But, Mum, haven't we got another giant Santa? No, Norman, that was the last one. Couldn't you order one? Not a week before Christmas, I couldn't. He would never get here in time. You could tell them it was an emergency. Oh! Help! Emergency! Not like that, Mum. Don't be daft. Many plugs in one of these old adapters. That's what the problem was. Elvis is right, Dillis. Those old adapters are very dangerous. You must be careful not to overload your sockets. 
Look at this. I found some. We saw these first. Ooh, I am a muscle picking machine. I found lots here. Yeah. Hey, leave some for me. But you've already got loads. We're working together. I'm going to find a better place with lots of muscles before the twins kick them all. You know, Elvis, the jaws of life are a great piece of rescue equipment, but they can't be used for every emergency. I know. Come on, Norman. Pull! Oh. It's wet! And getting wetter. The tide's coming in. We've got to get you out of here. Pull, Norman! Leave you here? What are we going to do? Call my Call my son. Son. <laughs> Somebody's stuck amongst rocks on the beach. <laughs> the beach, Sam. Somebody's stuck. Elvis, just in case. Yes! What's happened, Charlie? His foot sweated in tight, Sam. I tried everything. Haven't tried everything. That's right, Elvis. There's one more thing we should try. Can you reach down to untie your laces, Norman? Um, I think so. Yes! Uh, thank you, Fireman Sam. Oh. I wish I'd thought of that. Wait a minute. Where's my lucky bucket? Where did you put it, Norman? Oh, it's gone. Bad luck, Norman. It must have floated away. Come on. We'd better head back before the tide cuts us off. Wait. What about my shoe? Never fear. Gridlington's here. <laughs> Saved my shoe. That's what the jaws of life are for. I'll have to order a new belt for your washing machine, Dillis. You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me, it was Norman. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> yeah, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. Norman! Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh, so now you need to ask Mike very nicely if you can wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? But, uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. You know, Norman, I don't much like housework either. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Oh, no! Come on, Fireman Sam! Fire at the Flat House? Why do emergencies always happen when you don't want them to? Fire at the flat house, Sam! Many hate penis as well!
Come away from the house, Mike. We'll take it from here. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. It's my fault. I, I went out and left the iron on. Well, we could all afford to be more careful, whatever job we might be doing. Come back. Come on, let's go home. For all we know, Lion might be back there waiting for us right now. It's a penny! I wish Lion would come back. you know. There they are, Penny. Hi, Tom. Can we set up a winch so you can lower me down? No worries, mate. Okay, Tom. Red is what I said. Oh, there's Bronwyn. Oh, he thinks I'm just being friendly. I need to let him know we're in danger. I can't believe I forgot my phone. Red is for danger. <laughs> Red is for... <gasps> Brilliant! Red is for danger. Red is for danger. Something's wrong. Oh, I hope Sam understands. Oh, Mum! Nipple's escaping! Hmm, no answer. Better ring emergency services. Trouble! 
Metaphone Mountain Rescue! No worries, mate. Uh, I mean, sir, I'll find them. Nipper? How did you get out here? Nipper! Come back! Flood. Why isn't anybody answering their phones today? Hello? <laughs> Nipper brought me. Nipper! What a clever boy. You're going to be fine. We need to get you to a hospital to have this leg x-ray. Tom, we're going to need a stretcher down here. Sam will look after you now. I'll meet you at the hospital. Go back, Mandy! Right now! Do as I say, it's dangerous! Of Lion. He wasn't in the shed, I'm sure of it. Ooh, oh, well done, Sam. That's lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I want to go home now to see if Lion's turned up. I'll give you a lift. Oh, but we haven't seen all the fireworks yet. I think we've had enough fireworks for one night. Me too. Next time we're going to a proper display. It's much safer. We haven't put out a fire that big for a long time. So long, I nearly forgot how to do it. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it, Elvis? Well, I never. It's Lion! Penny and missing on Ponty Penny Mountain. Sam, take radar with you. Yes, sir. 
Come on, Radar. Oh, and call Mud and Rescue, sir. Ask Tom to meet me at the Flood's house in the 4x4. Ready, ho! a search party. If we give Radar some clues to sniff, he might pick up their trail. Whereabouts on Pondy Panty Mountain were they going, Mike? Uh, sorry, Tom. I, I keep racking me brains, but I just can't remember. Um... Oh, now, that looks like Helen's. Here you go, Radar. Find Helen. Is that why, Sam? I know. Where is he taking us? <laughs> it wasn't me! <laughs> Hello, Rita. What are you doing here? We're searching for Penny and your mum, Mandy. Radar took one sniff of your mother's blouse and led us straight here. That's not a blouse. It's a dress and it's mine. Oh, I can't believe you gave Rita the wrong clothes to sniff, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't remember whose was whose. This is definitely Mum's. Wait, I remember. I remember where Helen said they were going. The well path and over tall hill. Without electricity? No. And we can't cook the sausages either. It's a disaster. <gasps> the rain stopped! We can go outside. I'll set up the barbecue and we can finish the sausages on that. I'll help. You will do no such thing. Right. We'll need paper napkins too, so we can eat the sausages with our fingers. Uh, oh! Hello! Oh, hi, Penny. You want to speak to Helen? Oh, here she is. Hello, Penny. I'm really sorry to have to ask you, Helen. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. He had an accident in the blackout. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I won't be long. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. Make sure you all take care now. Oh, at last! Great. Now we can see to test the smoke alarm. Ah, there you go, Dillis. And the rain stopped too. Things are looking up. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken in, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> Sausages are nearly done. Oh, and here's Helen. Mum! Oh, wonderful. I've arrived just in time and didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? Oh no! Probably 
must be something to do with the power cut. I'm back. Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right. So nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. Okay. Penny, we'll need breathing apparatus. Okay, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? It's on, Sam. So if you have a power cut, you must always switch off your cooker. Otherwise, you might forget when the power comes back on again. I hope Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike, are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do our duet. Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes, I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Come on, Mike! Come on, Elvis! Rock it like you're rock gods! Very good! Come on, boys! Splish, splash, I'm having a wash. Splash, splish, feel like a fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing a splish, splash, shimmy, splish, splash, splash. Hooray! Hooray, hooray! Well done, boys! <laughs> I mean, well done, men. <laughs> <laughs> Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh! Radar has come back to the Nuts house by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Oh. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Mike's van! Well done, Rita! You did it! Mike! Are 
Are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike. Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Oh, oh thanks, Sam. Oh, dear. I wish I could make things better. I'd better call the station and warn them about the sheep. <gasps> well? Good news. Mike Flood had the emergency and he's safe now. Well done, Radar, eh? What a <gasps> hero. Sam did say something about runaway sheep. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, sir. My hiccups, they're cured. Mike said I needed a fright. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside,